What is up you moral viewers of this video? My YouTuber name is Letterboy. And you must have saw the title of this video. Um, why I do not recommend dating. And uh, if you still do not feel like, I mean, if you still feel like dating by the end of this video, that is completely fine. Although I'd likely also have to make a video over that topic if you do want to date. Um, like, uh, conditions I'd recommend if you want to date, even though I do not recommend dating. Although this video is not that video. This video is simply why I do not recommend dating. Um... So to, and like I am a, and just to put this out there, I am a very experienced uh, person um, in the dating world. Um, like I've, like I've dated before, I've, um, I've been rejected before. I've been broken up with before. I've broken up with some others. I... I've even been cheated on. Yeah. And, uh... But some things I haven't experienced would be, like, a first kiss. And, like, thankfully, I still have my virginity. Um, but, so, yeah, just putting that out there. Um... So anyways, on to the first point. Um, so uh, yeah, dating is not necessary. You know, you say you want a wife and children or a husband and children or just a husband or a wife. Um, this video can have to both genders um so uh, yeah like you don't really need to date to marry you can just marry after a long-term friendship and that seems like uh, something really nice to like have your marriage be built on just friendship you know And another point is, like, there's nothing wrong with uh, anything platonic. I mean, just going to put this out there. Um, sad truth is, more often than other forms of love, platonic love is less, is less conditional than other forms of love. You know? And, like... Like, you gotta really work... Like, it's really better off just to have platonic love, to work really hard for the love you desire and really want. You know, you don't have to work hard for any platonic love. You just have to enjoy each other's presence. You can just... You know, just being friends with each other. And, uh, yeah, that's just something beautiful. And because it's beautiful, you don't, you, I really think you shouldn't underestimate, you shouldn't take for granted platonic love. Um, because, um, I did quite a few times. Um, and it got to the point where um, I don't, I'm just left with no platonic relationships left with uh, any female. Um, yeah, most of it's just neutral. Um, or that's all that's left currently. Um, just a example of it. Um, I 
had a happy platonic relationship with this one girl and uh, we were going to go to homecoming together and I asked her on like to go on a date on homecoming and uh, she rejected and uh, yeah just things went downhill and uh, we drifted apart after that and you know it's just not really something you should bring up because it can ruin it can ruin a platonic a perfectly platonic relationship you know so yeah just cherish your platonic cherish your platonic relationships guys um yeah So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Bye.